Hello, Mr. Smith here. Uh, we're going to talk about German verbs. I know you love German verbs. We're going to talk about those ones with the separable prefix. Just think about those two words, separable prefix. There's a prefix on the front of the verb, and you know what prefixes are, but it's separable, meaning you can actually take that prefix off the word and throw it to the end of the sentence, and it changes the meaning. That's why we always start reading a German sentence from the very end. You want to look at the last word, or sometimes the last two or three words, figure out what prefixes might be lurking back there that would be changing the meaning. So let's take a look at these. Separable prefix verbs. We're talking about a situation where there's one little particle at the very end of a sentence that changes the meaning of the verb that's in the front of the sentence. Let's take a look. Ich sehe means I see. But if I put a aus at the end of the sentence, it means I appear. So for example, ich sehe mit der neuen Brille gut. Okay, I can see well, I can see farther, I can see clearer, I can see more sharply. And then if I put the aus at the end of the sentence, ich sehe mit der neuen Brille gut aus, it means I look good, I look awesome, I'm stylish. Er hört, he hears, but the auf at the end will change the meaning. Er hört sorgfältig, he listens carefully. Er hört sorgfältig auf, he stops carefully. Okay, totally different meaning. There's multiple possible separable prefixes. Er nimmt, okay, er nimmt teil, er nimmt vor, er nimmt etwas, he takes something. Er nimmt heute teil, he participates today. Er nimmt eine Änderung vor, he carries out an adjustment. So when you see that nimmt, Nimmt normally means take, but if you look at the little separable prefix at the end of the sentence, you see the whole meaning has changed. This one is fun. Wir bringen, but um gives it a rather scary meaning. Wir bringen unsere Oma. We're bringing our grandma. That sounds so nice. Wir bringen unsere Oma um. <laughs> that is scary. Wir haben, wir haben etwas, we have something, whatever it may be. I have money, I have time. Wir haben etwas for, we're planning something. We intend to do something. Okay, er schlägt, all kinds of prefixes here. Er schlägt, he hits. Schlagen is the infinitive, to beat. Okay, remember, schlagsahne is whipped cream. It's cream that's been beaten. Okay, but to suggest, to research, to open. <clears throat> er schlägt etwas vor. Er schlägt etwas nach. Er schlägt etwas auf. Er sagt ab, to cancel something. Okay, tragen all by itself already has two different meanings, to wear something or to carry something. But then vortragen, to present, beitragen, to contribute, um, vortragen, to present, literally to carry something in front of somebody, to drag it out where everybody can see it. So we have our examples. Er trägt sein Geld bei, he contributes his money. Er trägt ein Lied vor, he presented a song. Bottom line, when you're reading a German sentence, look at the end first. Find out that last word or last two or three words. It can change the meaning of the entire sentence. See you later. Tschüss.